head in things. So one of the first things I teach is head in things and head in things. The idea being that if you can teach your dog to put their head in a thing, it could be a cone, it could be a muzzle, it can be lots of different things. And so we take just random stuff from around the house. Yes. And work on can we put our head in things? Yes. And so obviously, Lindy has played this game a lot. So she has no problem. She's like, Oh, should we retrieve it? Yes. Good job. So that's just a random little, it was like a shelf thing that I had. Um, when my puppy was young, we have a dog door and she yes, could not figure out how to use the <laughs> dog door. So I made a fake dog door because she was afraid to stick her head through the dog door. Oh, got to swallow. All right. So let, so I this is what we did for dog door. So not cooperative care, but still the idea of like if your dog learns to stick their head in things, they can learn how to use a dog door. And so we just added a little flap to it and worked on getting dog in flap. She's like, sure, I'll keep doing it. She that. has no, she has no yes. hesitancy, does she? She's really <laughs> she eager doesn't. to do that. Yes, yes. And so it even could just be a toy that you have around your house. Yes. Good girl. This is actually a new item. She has never seen this item. So I just got this one. Yes, good. So that was really, I liked because she stuck her head in a little deeper. And so this is a great little, you know, muzzle, but not a muzzle. Oh, now we're retrieving it. So we got to be careful about that. So there we go. Yes. Good girl. Good job. And that's really, that's really tight around her head, but she doesn't mind going in there. That's really oh, excellent. Nope. Yep. And this is how we start with muzzle training. Good girl. You know, and so it doesn't have to be fancy. Like it, it's, you know, right. I grabbed... This is a lunch bag I have. Yes. <laughs> and it's like, what silliness can we do? And so I did bring, oh, and Lindy has to wear a bib when she has a food toy. So we've been working on putting on her ridiculous dinosaur bib because uh, she makes a mess because she has a, a molar missing. Can you show them how cute and ridiculous you look in your bib? Yes, good. And so she pulls out there and that's fine. I want her to know that she can pull out. She doesn't need to, you know, she doesn't have to, but if I was working on trying to get her to put her head all the way through, you miss the hole, there you go. And I, all I have to do is feed here, but I also am letting her pull out if she's not quite ready to stay in there. And so this becomes the practical application of the same skill. Yeah. <laughs> and really, you know, your dog wearing a dinosaur bib is about as cute as funny as it gets. There you go. But Good I job. also like the fact that when she Where's earlier, when she wanted to pull out, she had that ability. She oh, has definitely. that freedom. Definitely. All right. You want bunny ears? Or are you trying to retrieve them? Yes. And so this one I've actually worked on is hold still instead of her putting her head in. So you saw how she just holds still as I get closer. She just backed her head right. away, totally allowed to take away. Yes, good job. Right. Good job. Back up. Yes. Oh, and they're falling off. Good. Um, so yeah, so we have a lot of different silly things. Um, little glasses. Those don't stay on as well. And then the other thing too um, is one of my clients recently was having a lot of scale issues. And so we worked on teaching the dog to go in a, um, in a chewy box because whenever chewy delivers stuff, you know, it's long and skinny. And, <laughs> and then they brought their box to the vet. And so the dog saw its chewy box on the scale and knew how, knew this game. And so it was totally fine. I didn't even think about the scale because the chewy box was there. So they had practiced it at home. Let me get my little potato board out here. Oh, very nice. Thank you. 
I not I think Witten, there's not a better uh, uh, testament to doing this than watching the eagerness that Lindy takes has for doing these things, Sarah. I mean, she really is enthusiastic. Yeah, and so Lindy is five years old, and she. Ha this is how because I've been doing this now long enough. She is. This is how she's grown up. She knows no different. And once again, it's that really. I'm very very thankful because she now has bilateral hip dysplasia and needs week, uh, weekly injections of adequin and lots of medication and all of it is cooperative. So scale, oh, I know that this doesn't look, she's like, this is not my scale. Can you come in? All right, fine, you can. She's like, wait, you cued me scale and that is definitely not a scale. She knows how to get on the scale at the vet office, no problem. So 